I've been playing Rust now for about 500 hours and in that time I've been building bases to try to figure out a base that is spacious enough and strong enough for a trio if needed. Now this base has it all, it can hold 19 large boxes, multiple small boxes and much more. It's also built from a 3x1 which is super easy to create and to be modified to your own personal touch. If you're like me and like bases that are simple and easy to make, then stick around and I'll tell you exactly how to make it. Alright, so starting off this tutorial, what you want to do is you want to get a 3x1 floor plan down with a triangle on the side of it. After doing that, what you want to do is you want to start blocking in the rest of your 3x1 to make it fully secure and only one way in. Now with your hop up, you can do a few different things with it. You can do either a half wall hop up or you can change it so that you can have a ladder hatch going uh, from the top to the bottom, which is a lot easier and gives you a lot more room to use, which I'd highly recommend. With having a 3x1, it gives you one extra tile to actually use, and I use this for adding a storage room down there. This is where you're going to put some of your main loot, like guns, ammo, meds. In my opinion, it's super optimal to use, especially with this design. After placing your TC on the opposing side of your loot room, you want to place the ceilings in, and now you want to start on the way up to get into your 3x1. Firstly, you want to place three triangles, and then you want to block off one singular triangle, this is going to be your way up, make sure they're facing the correct way. Then you want to place a large door frame, then an open triangle ladder hatch, and then place the ladder hatch in there. This is going to be your way up into your 3 by one Now you want to start on the honeycomb on the entrance side. Now this is pretty simple, just place triangles going all the way along the side, and then fill it in with walls. It's pretty simple, and make sure they all face the right way there. Now you want to place in your ceilings, which you just uh, done on your honeycomb. And now what you want to do is you want to head to the opposite side and do the exact same. So it should look something like this. And when you're done with that, you want to head to each corner, uh, each side of the 3 by one and place one triangle honeycomb. This protects it from uh, each and every side, which is pretty good. When you're finished with that, you want to start walling in your second layer, and this is basically going to be your drop box area. So wall this fully in. After doing so, you want to go to the entrance, place two walls, like I'm doing like this. Now you want to start with your loot room and place a triangle hop up with two triangles above it, destroy the wall below. Do the same thing on the opposite side, do a wall there, wall there. And on each side of this, is going to be two normal loot rooms, make sure to destroy the half wall below. Do the same here. Now pick a corner that you want the hop up to be to go to your roof. I pick this side, they're both identical, it doesn't matter. On the opposite side you want to place a door frame where your vending machine is going to be. On the triangle to the right is where your lock is going to be and from here you want to basically sealing on, off everything else except the hop up that you created just a second ago. Sealing it all off and you want to make a twig, uh, twig triangle here uh, to make it easier to place the walls. Place two walls with a ceiling above it with a large frame, this is going to be your way up, destroy the twig, uh, and this is base done, it's all completed, so of course you can furnish it however you'd like, but if you did enjoy the video, then let me know, make sure to place garage doors in every single square that you possibly can, up and down, make it as hard for the people to raid it, I'd highly recommend uh, adding HQM um, to the whole 3x1 inside, but yeah, that's this done, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video, peace out.